So what, Sari? I mean, lot of women have. I'm not. I haven't done something that has not been done. I have to say, it. people have done it for real in an actual war, and they've won a lot, lots of appreciation. Honestly, I did have little bit confidence that it will work out. People will like it because it's a very new character. I'll have some chumma random. I'll have some seven, eight blood clots here and there. The way she processes things, the way she understands. I am, I am somebody. I don't give up that easily. I'm a fighter. Whatever I want, like as mentally, I'm saying. A lot of people said I look really nice in the film, irrespective of so much difficulties I went through. Then I think you just have to be true to your character. You look nice anyway. I'm not saying I'm. I'm not going to take a flag and go around and say I'm going to change the world. But if I change myself and change the people around me, I am sure at least. Hello, everybody. So here I have Nivedita Satish with me. Of course, you would have seen her in Captain Miller. She has done a phenomenal performance. Hello, Nivedita. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Absolutely fine. Thank you. But uh, first of all, congratulations on Captain Miller. How did you land on uh, Tain Pasiar? Let's start with that. Landing on Tain Pasiar. Of course, I've liked Arun sir's work before, and I had reached out to him, uh, saying if there's something interesting, let me know. But when I had met him, I didn't know it, that it was this bigger film. So I think he was searching for somebody like me for a character. And the same day, I was like, why would you search someone like me? I'm only there. Let's work. So that's how it started. Of course, then it was a really long journey. Yes, and off-roading bike and all. Like, you can't come over. It's very like it sounds difficult. Mm. How is it for you to practice it and you know do it in the movie? Uh, I I ride bikes well, as in I know how to ride a bike. But in this, of course, it was a stunt, and the bikes were made for period. So the whatever the engineering of it is different. And I had to do doubles, and then there were a lot of bomb blasts, dust, and everything. It was hard. It was very tough. And more than bikes, I was pretty confident that I could pull it off. But more than bikes, I had uh, climatic conditions when we were shooting. Especially the convoy sequence were very, very tough. So I think that was my biggest problem then. But bikes, yeah, I think I had fun. Yeah, there were a lot of like difficult moments in between, but I made peace with it. <laughs> Yeah, of course, uh, and physically it was uh, very challenging because back in those days you could see there were so many fights and guns and so many. Apo, when you are in such a terrain, the weather is bad. There is bullet, there is gun, everything is there. How physically exhausting was it? So I was prepared for it. I was not shocked, but the thing is, Ada, I knew what I signed up for. I knew what I was going to do there. Definitely, there have been days where I felt like I can't get up next morning. My entire body has hurt, and I'll have some chumma random. I'll have some seven, eight blood clots here and there. There'll be like black, black marks will be there. Chinnna chinnna adi galda arundu the. But my only conscious thing was I shouldn't get any major injury. I can't break my bones because I can't afford to. Honestly, if I'm gonna just sit with a broken bone, how are we gonna shoot? There's a yeah. lot of commerce, logistics involved, so I was very conscious. So even Dilip Master helped me a lot in that because I'll ask a lot of questions. I'll ask hundreds of questions before I go, and it's good. You have to ask questions. You can't just go there like you know everything. You know, I didn't know anything, and they were very excited to teach me as well. So it worked very well. Every time I go before a shot, I'll be like, "Can I place my leg here?" Where should I move? Is this how the fire is going to come? Is this how the gun is going to be shot? Even in the guns, they were all real guns, but it's not real bullets. They'll have a blast. So how to shoot this gun? My posture. So I've asked so many questions. I have eight masters' head for almost a year, but he loved it. He loved the fact that I ask questions. I can't do it without not asking. So for me, I had no inhibitions as a person. I was very free. You mold me however you want. That's how I went. I went super fresh with a clear, yeah, open mind, and I think that's why I was able to imbibe everything and put it out also. Yes, uh, I mean it was so nice to listen to this because it's not about fame; it's just about the work, lah. Right? Also, and I think it has paid off. Captain Miller Kapro, I hope or guess you would have received a lot of appreciations. 
was there anything that is you know very special a lot lots of appreciation honestly i did have little bit confidence that it will work out people will like it because it's a very new character you don't really get to see these kind of characters in the films that often but i did not expect it to blow out of proportion this big i am so overwhelmed by the response and even when people like message me regarding the film usually it's like one line two lines and the madri varu but even in instagram people take the effort to send me big big paragraphs saying your win feels very personal to me you know we've been seeing you from day one and they and to be very honest th- because of this one film everybody remembers all the characters i've played from day one so it's nice right when you work hard when you get it i'm very happy and oh well that's all so nice also uh, above captain miller as a person nivedita you have a particular character and tain pasiar we've seen how she is so how did you get into tain pasiar how was the process <laughs> she was little bit she was part of me there's a honestly there's a lot of me in her also not the violence part the way she processes things the way she understands i am i am somebody i don't give up that easily i'm a fighter whatever i want like as mentally i'm saying and i break i break down a lot but even i get up faster everything is all of these things are also her so it wasn't very different for me of course there were other things i had to learn like techniques like i told you action and all of that but how she is as a person is who i am as a person also and like i said there's a lot of manliness that comes with her and that's also been there because i've been into sports and i work out a lot so you i was free to do it actually to play feminine i've put in some effort to look very like shamat good girl wearing a sari but in this i was like i don't care i can be however i want honestly this film i loved in a way where i didn't have to care about how i was looking i didn't have to care about my clothes i just had to worry about my performance but a lot of people said i look really nice in the film irrespective of so much difficulties i went through then i think you just have to be true to your character you look nice anyway <laughs> that's what i understood it's my take away honestly yeah, but but the way you looked also there were so many uh, specifications like the ear thing that you wore was not conventional it was not something that we yeah. then the sari drape yeah. so it's also different yeah. so how did you like uh, was it like how you imagined ipurda irukum the sari drape the ornaments everything did you image it this sari sari drape i knew and the i mean in that period people it's a war sari i mean lot of women have i'm not i haven't done something that has not been done i have to say it. people have done it for real in an actual war and they won so i am only like so i just remapped my mind that i am playing that i had to forget about sari issues i had to forget about tanning issues and everything ornaments and everything of course when i had so there was a look test day one so i had one table full of ornaments and weapons and everything just for tain pasiar so i went and picked up what all i like punama ma'am did everything i picked up what all like that and that's when i saw this and i was like can i try it and that's when i tried it and uh, arun sir was like this is nice we'll have a scene with this that's how it cooked up so yeah so these things people have already done they've done it for real and that's what made it so inspiring for me i am not doing something new people have genuinely fought wars and they've lost lives they lost families and just to represent them and play in a film i felt very empowered and inspired that's why it took it she, she is a hero i mean yeah absolutely yeah. so that's about tain pasya now coming to uh, nivedita <laughs> so uh, what's your day uh, like no, as an actor how does it look like how is your diet or your workout plans like how do you plan your day my day oh, it's a very first of all it's a very uncertain job no no day is same but i try to bring in a lot of discipline because i've been into sports when i was really young and that discipline has helped me a lot in acting people think it's only when you're doing a film no an actor needs a lot of discipline lot of focus even if i'm shooting i'm not shooting there are certain things that i need to do at least to keep my mind sane right because i'm suddenly 6 months i'm so packed with work and then boom like for 2 months nothing i'm not doing anything so this like erratic you, you don't have a monotonous lifestyle it's not 9 to 5 job exactly so you need to be equipped in your head to even handle this kind of things because suddenly you, you're bombarded with a lot of attention you don't know what's coming at you any day so 
discipline and of course grounding factor you need to have some ground if you luckily my family has been my grounding factor they've been very supportive when my friends how much ever i get carried away whatever i do when i come back i'm home i feel home and they make me feel home so that's i give them a big they have a huge role to play in my life yeah but my days like yeah i work out and i eat very healthy not because i'm an actor i've eaten healthy all my life from childhood that's very difficult i like it other than it's not like i've put in extra effort to eat healthy so you don't eat junk at all is i it? don't at all kadiya you can of course who wouldn't have a craving i was a human being no but naturally i don't have sweet tooth okay very rarely i eat i've never had any aerated drinks in my life what I've never had any Indian. Yeah, everybody is in shock every time I say this. I've never had probably I actually nothing. School le do oru vaati rendu vaati I do had that. Oh my god. And uh, and junk does not really excite me and my mom has like from childhood she's taught me that whatever you eat as a child whatever you've grown up until like about your 15 years old that's the best food for you until you die. Okay, because your body is used to a particular food like for instance i eat a lot of rice people speak of carbs right i grew up i'm a south indian i've eaten a lot of spices i'm telugu also so a lot of spices ghee and rice but these are the things i ate all my life from childhood so if people be like no you're eating rice will you not put on or i won't put on weight because my body has learned how to digest it suddenly when i'm shocking it with things that it's not used to that's when it reacts very differently So I would say just stay true to your roots it helps it helps a lot honestly yeah it's a very nice ideology what yeah. you just told and we everybody are worried about eating rice why it's carbs yeah <laughs> yeah balance da it's all balancing you you eat so much meat then balance it out with probably it's, if you're eating a lot of heat have like a tender coconut if you're eating too much cold then subside like you should know you should be very intuitive of your food and i have learned to be intuitive it's not like i was like a grade with regards to my diet but as i grew up as i understood how my body reacts to certain things i've understood how to take care of it beautiful also uh, we've seen a lot of actors uh, people talk about uh, the changing cinema so how do you think or feel the way women are portrayed in movies are changing Also, with regard to Captain Marvel, it was so nice to see powerful women on screen. So, how do you think there is a change? There is definitely a change, not just in cinema. Generally, in life, it's changed a lot. The way women are treated, the way women are felt. Of course, there are certain places that's still happening. It's very unfortunate that it's still happening. But, of course, I'm gonna knowledge. If you see, I'm not saying I'm I'm not gonna take a flag and go around and say I'm gonna change the world. but if i change myself and change the people around me i am sure at least or 10 people or two people marna kuda it's a win for me that's all so for me if you i can't just speak of cinema with, with regards to that i had a very secure upbringing like all the men in my life were so respect they they respected women so much including my grandfather my father my brother i was treated even like at home like even when i say i don't know to cook they like it's okay i'll give you a cook so what and the madri in the people now even when when i signed up miller i had to ride a bike and my entire family is into motor sports and racing and stuff when i went and told my dad he surprised me with a new bike he got a new bike wow one week later and he gave me so that's the kind of upbringing i've had so that's had an impact on my brother on me so if i can do the same to people around me then that's change either i should have the power to change everybody or i should change myself and people around me so something you can't i don't know i can't be ignorant about it avlo da and this is a thought that i've been brought up it's been fed to me from childhood i'm just being loyal to it so nice i had an amazing conversation thank you thank you so much for joining thank us thank you